Sin starts in the mind. That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. Rome, uh, today is, by the way, Friday, November the 23rd. And if I miss this birthday, I'm fried as a goose. This is Ruby Cundiff's birthday today. And uh, I believe she's 87 years old today. Happy birthday, Ruby. And uh, Sarah Bryan, I don't think she's 87. She might be all of three or four, but it's her birthday. So call these two ladies today and wish them a happy birthday. And then Saturday is Scarlett uh, Deering's birthday. Scarlett, happy birthday to you. And Sunday is little Rowan Bryan's birthday. and He'll turn everybody's world upside down. So God bless you, Rowan, on your birthday. Sin starts in the mind. Romans chapter 7, verse 5 says this. For we were in, when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members and bring forth the fruit unto death. The word motions in the Greek is pathemia, which means emotion or influence, affection, affliction, or suffering. Sin starts in the mind, right here, in the brain, and the emotions. And when we commit that sin, it becomes an influence, and we begin to have an affection for it. So you commit it, you're influenced by it, it becomes an affection, and uh, then it just starts to take over your life. And, but it all starts from thinking about it. Then that affection and that love, and that sin affects us as we're caught in its grip. Though uh, as we struggle with that sin, it tightens its grip on us, and we begin a pathway of suffering and sorrow, committing that sin, being enslaved to it. And that final destination is destruction. We don't want to be in that place. Now simply, which is better in, the blessings of God or the suffering of the motions of sin? Joseph and Daniel, great servants of God, never entered the motions of sin like Samson and David. Joseph and Daniel were great examples of hanging on and winning. But Samson and David were both failures and failed and suffered the consequences. They enjoyed, uh, Samson, or rather Joseph and Daniel enjoyed full life and full power while Daniel unraveled uh, mysteries and survived the den of lions and prophesied of the last days because of his faithfulness. These men have yet to see the end of their work because of the power of God was upon them. I want to see the power of God on my life. I hope you want to see the power of God in your life. And the only way to do it is to stay away from sin. Stay away from that sin which does so easily beset you. Don't get an affection for it because it will destroy you. Draw nigh to God and he'll be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.